Hello YouTube Gamer Dad here. This is going to be our first video in the uh, 2D Space Shooter tutorial series for XNA 4.0. Uh, I did a little intro video on kind of uh, what I wanted to base this this game on. Is is another game I was creating in the Allegro library using C++. I think it'll be a little easier in XNA. We're going to learn a lot of cool tricks uh, with XNA here and we're going to be uh, doing classes and, and all kinds of cool stuff. So with that, uh, we're here in our IDE. Uh, I'm using Visual Studio 2010 and we'll get started. So file, new project. I'll we'll just call this, uh, let's go make sure you're Visual C Sharp and you're in XNA Game Studio. Um, just going to call it uh, 2D Shooter Tutorial. Um, and make sure it's a Windows game and OK. It'll set up uh, what we need, our game1.cs. OK, and if you watched my Pong clone tutorial series, you'll know that uh, these summaries here just kind of, I like to get rid of them because they clutter up everything and we can just keep our comments uh, simple and short. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete all these right away. We are in our game1.cs. Um, with this tutorial, I'm kind of expecting you guys to have uh, a handle on, she on C Sharp, at least the basics, and um, and experience with X and A a little bit. Uh, just kind of know your way around. I'll be uh, pretty thoroughly going through everything I'm programming, so it's not a big deal if you are a beginner to X and A, and I think you guys will learn pretty fast. So we'll just delete all this summary code in here. It's your choice. You, you can leave it if it helps you guys out. Um, I find it just um, bulks up the game1.cs. Okay. And then I'll just rename these. Unit function load content unload content we're not going to be really using the unload content just like my last series the important ones are the update the draw and the load content up here where we'll be loading our sprites and such some of them not all of them Let's call this main. And we can just call this constructor. Okay. So now that we have uh, this all set up, I am going to jump right in and start with our very first class, which is going to be our player class, uh, which will control um, the way our, our player, it's going to be a spaceship. The way our spaceship is drawn, um, it's going to handle the input for the spaceship, you know, the movement controls, things like that, um, and um, the drawing of the spaceship. So, we will save this off real quick, um, and we're going to create a new class. So you can right click your project, um, add a class we will just make sure class is selected and we will call it player right now that we're in our player one uh... we don't need to use all these using statements but when you first create a class it doesn't add any of the x and a using uh... statements so uh... we will grab uh... the x and a framework which we need um, We'll grab input and graphics. I think that's all we need. If I find out that we need more, we can add them later. But for now, we'll just keep these three using statements. Uh, we're going to start off by making this class public. Here's we, where we decide what our player needs. Uh, well, he's definitely going to need, we're going to make all these public as well. He's definitely going to need uh, a texture. So it's going to be a public texture 2D. We're just going to call that texture. Um, 
it's going to need we're going to need to hold the position so public uh, vector 2 let's call that position um, we're going to need we're going to have a speed for the spaceship so we can uh, decide on how fast it's going to move around the screen so we're going to make that a public let's we'll make an int for now if we decide we need to make it a float later we can uh, public int speed um, well, we might as well add some of the collision variables we need now, even though we're not going to be doing that right away. We'll just get them out of the way. So, um, a public bool, and we'll call that is colliding. Um, and we'll want to create a public rectangle called bounding box. So that we can, uh, this is this will also be used for collision. So actually, we can move these around. Um, v and if we want, we can just comment that um, collision variables. And I think that's all we need for now. Um, so, what methods do we need? Well, we're going to need a constructor. which will basically just set all our um, variables above to null or, or zero um, just as common so it'll be public player um, we need a a load so we can load the content so we'll just call this the load content method and that will be a public void load content we'll call it and uh, it will take content manager okay what we are going to need to add another using statement so we can go into the game one um, grab the xna framework dot content using statement copy that put that up in here as well so this load content will be content manager We'll just call it content. Um, we will need a draw function. Public void draw. We'll take sprite batch. And an update function. Public void update. That'll be game time. Game time.